What's up everyone? I'm Joe the Lawn Warrior and welcome back to my channel and today it's day 15 and look at this lawn. I mean it's looking thick back here. I can't be any happier. I mean it's coming so great. I'm going to go in more detail in a second so let's get started. But before we get going, I want everyone that's new to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. I want everyone to join on the journey this year of my fall 2021 overseed. Again, this is day 15 germination right here behind me. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And if you've already been subscribed to my channel, thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching all my videos. And again, continue to watch so you can see these before and after results. So let's get back to the video now. So like I was saying, it's day 15 right here at my house. Sorry if there's a little bit of a glare. The sun is really beating on me today. Um, but you can see this lawn right here behind me, it is coming in great thick. Um, and one of the great things I've noticed about this seed, um, the Mountain View seed that I put down from, uh, that I got at Tuckahoe Turf Farms, it's coming in. It's a darkish green color already. I mean, the video is probably not going to show it justice. I'll show some pictures uh, here in a second. And the pictures might not even show it justice either but i mean it's like a darker green color already and from the seed that i put down last year and some of the seed that i've thrown down some from big box stores sometimes those seeds come in in my opinion at least it comes in with like a lighter green color um but this seed's like a darker green already and so i mean that's like that that's awesome um so i mean it's pretty pretty great so far really happy a couple thin spots um but you know those can be addressed uh later um, and I'll show you what I did for those thin spots, but um, I mean this seed it's looking very good so far So this is the side of the house as well And as you can see it's coming really nice over here as well um, I've been extremely happy with how it's been filling in in certain spots I did have a couple thin spots in certain areas of my yard um, Just mostly over by where the air conditioner is at in the front area there um, but I like having a little bit of extra seed on hand. I like to get a little bit more than I need. Um, so if you feel that you might have some washout just in general in your yard, I recommend, you know, getting extra seed. Um, that's what I did personally. I got a little bit of extra seed um, and I just threw that down in a couple of the thin spots throughout the yard um, and just threw a little bit of peat moss on top and it's filling in really nicely. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little bit behind uh, from the time that you put down your initial seed, but believe me it will fill in so today we're going to be putting down the second application of starter fertilizer at my house um, i have the yard mastery blend of starter fertilizer it's three pounds per 1000 but don't think you have to put it down if you don't want um, believe me um, i'm changing things up um, on the way i speak to everybody on my channel i don't want to come off that you have to do exactly what i'm doing um, you don't have to use yard mastery if you don't want you can go to a big box store if you want get a let's go get a scott starter fertilizer whatever fits in your budget you know put that down um i know that people are on strict budgets and they can't afford everything you know for that they want for their lawn um but if you want to go to the store go to the store get get whatever you would like um but that's what i'm doing today putting down a second dose of starter fertilizer at three pounds per 1000 um, i want to keep driving these roots in the ground i mean this lawn is looking really nice so far I'm probably going to be doing my first mow sometime this week once the starter fertilizer breaks down and it's, I start to see some more top growth. Um, I will probably be doing a video, obviously I will be doing a video on the on the first mow. I will be doing a first mow in the back with the barren rug. So check out that video uh, below. I'll be doing a first mow probably put today on the barren rug. That came in a lot quicker. Um, perennial ryegrass comes in a lot faster than tall fescue um, so that's ready to be mowed in the back so I will be doing a video on that and check that out um, below but today extremely happy with this seed again a dark green already that's awesome um, and again a couple thin spots and again buy extra seed have extra seed on hand and just throw that out in your yard and if you see those thin spots and then top it off with some uh, peat moss and just like I always do with anything that I throw down in my yard, I like to weigh everything out exactly for each section. Um, I just have my regular mini Scott uh, edge guard right here. You don't have to have anything special. That's what I just like using. I've had this for years. It's cheap. It works. Um, so I'm happy with it. Again, use whatever you like. 
you don't if you want a bigger one obviously these can only hold so much if you want a bigger spreader that's fine um, I just have a regular regular white bucket right here and just a food scale it's nothing special um, I usually just always put the bucket on top and you guys probably have seen this in other videos that I've I've done it's very easy you turn it on um, you make sure it's down to zero when your buckets on top and if not you always hit that tear button so it tears it down to zero got my starter fertilizer right here I just weigh it out exactly what I need for each section in my yard that I have mapped out put it in my spreader put it on a lower setting usually I like doing between five and six if I do a couple passes that's fine as long as I get it evenly spread that's fine with me so what I like doing first is always doing the edges uh, obviously this is a Scott's mini edge guard here so I throw that edge guard on and I like doing the edges first so that way I'm not throwing anything into the sidewalks or a driveway like I have here um, and then when I get done, I'll just flip off that edge guard and I'll continue to do the rest of the yard. And at this point in the game, you shouldn't have to worry about the grass as much. It should have rooted enough where as long as you're not stomping and you know, you're not trampling on the grass and you're just getting on and getting off, it should be fine. Um, I, if you pull on the grass a little bit, at this point, it shouldn't be able to pull out of the ground. Um, obviously, in some of those thinner spots that you may have thrown seed down, those areas obviously are not mature enough. So be careful in those areas. Um, so again, I'm just going to get on and get off and then go on to my next section and again get on and get off So obviously I got done doing the starter fertilizer and now I'm going to be spraying some goodies and with my spray uh, Backpack sprayer right here as you can see in the video right here. I am filling up with RGS um, I actually had enough RGS. So I just did RGS. I didn't touch the spoon juice yet um, And then also I'm putting down air 8. I did six ounces per 1,000 of air 8 um, and I did three ounces per 1,000 for the RGS. Again, you don't have to do this at home if you don't want to. Um, I just like to keep putting uh, that root, root uh, growth stimulant, which is what RGS is in my grass. Um, I just hope that helps with those thin areas and hopes overall with some of that grass coming back up. I got four gallons filled to the top right here in the backpack sprayer. I'm gonna go and spray it out in the lawn. I'm gonna paint it black and then I'm gonna water everything in. I'll probably do you know anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes uh, each zone once I spray this out just so that all this that I'm spraying out gets uh, absorbed into the soil and it gets watered in. One of the things I de definitely recommend is getting a pair of boots when you go and spray out in your yard. Um, I just went to Walmart and got a cheap pair of black boots as you can see here. They're just like regular cheap black boots nothing expensive um, because it will get on you um, especially if you're wearing regular shoes it will be a mess on your shoes so just go to walmart to a tractor supply where, wherever just get a cheap pair of rubber boots um throw them on and when you're spraying out in your yard you won't have a mess on your shoes and you won't stain your shoes and rubber boots the ones i got they just rinse right off any of excess that's on your uh, boots and again this spray mate i mean it sucked it bone dry I mean, that's, I really love this backpack sprayer. It's such a great DIY backpack sprayer. Um, I can't say it enough. I'm trying not to promote it, but it just works so good. Um, it just, it, work, it works really good. It sucks everything out. As you can see here, I have nothing left. And this was completely full, four gallons all the way to the top. I mean, it sucked it bone dry. So what do you think? Should I pull out one of these grass blades and see how deep those uh, roots are? Let's go, let's try it. All right, let's go and try and pick a longer blade. Um, let's see, these are probably about almost a couple of three inches in certain spots. Um, definitely some spots are longer than others, but let's try and pick one of these guys. Let's see. We can break this up a little bit, but let's see. I definitely probably pulled some of that root out, but as you can see here, it tillered out a little bit, which is great. That's what you want to see. Um, but yeah, I would say that root death is it's growing. I definitely pulled probably a little bit of it off, but it's healthy. Um, I'd say it's looking pretty good. Day 15 germination, guys, right there. So we got the grass blade on top of my laptop right here, which is not probably not the smartest idea in the world. But as you can see here, we're probably almost at about two and a half inches in blade length with some of them. The roots are really thriving. You can see there's multiple roots getting thrown off these grass blades right here, which is great. 
Um, this is a very healthy plant, as you can see, the darker green color, which is awesome. That's, that's what I really wanted to see in this grass with the Mountain View seed. Um, I actually pulled out a different grass one. As you can see, the roots are a little bit better this time. I tried to dig a little bit deeper, um, but you can see here multiple roots shooting out. Nice grass blade length right here. Everything's looking really great. So that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you here today. Day 15 germination right here behind me on my lawn and it's looking really great. Again, you don't have to do the exact same steps that I'm doing. Um, this is just some of the stuff that I've seen that works for me and just I like recommending to people. Again, I did three pounds per 1000 of the starter fertilizer here today. Um, also, we did RGS and Air 8. Air 8, I did six ounces per 1000 and the RGS, I did three ounces uh, per 1000 out of the backpack sprayer, sprayed that out in my lawn. I will get ready to put the sprinklers on once I get done closing out this video. I will be soaking everything in with a nice dose of water. And again, I'm going to try and change things up on my channel. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that says it, that you have to do this and you have to get this product and you need to put this, spray this liquid fertilizer down. Again, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to do exactly what I do. You don't have to use the products that I'm using. Go to a big box store if you want. Use a different kind of spray uh, liquid fertilizer. That's fine. Use what you want to use. Everyone has a different budget. Again, you really just need to get out in your yard and you got to try different things throughout your yard and see what works best for you. These are just some of the things that work best for me. This is the success I had last year on my other overseed. That's why I'm doing a lot of the same things this year. So again, just get out in the yard, use different products, always re read the labels, always read the instructions. But again, just take my advice as a recommendation. Um, these are the things that work out in my yard. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody that comments on my videos. Again, leave them below. And like always, if you found today's content helpful, make sure you smash that like button. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other, other people can find my videos, they can find my channel. And if you wanna learn in more detail about the five steps to do an, a fall overseed, these are what personally that I do. You don't have to do exactly what I do, but these are the five steps that I did this year for my fall overseed. Check out this video right here. And again, like always, subscribe right here, and I'll see you in the next one.